if my role is to take care of my family, then my ancestors just need to give me the power to do it. That's all I ask. Mm, and if they forever gift you with that. Um... Yeah. I, I'm not, I'm not complaining at all. Like, I feel like mm. my healing is in just like, in, like in service, in just making sure that everyone's okay. Yeah, and that's a very powerful yeah. thing that you mentioned, that your healing comes through strongly in generosity. Uh, and, and in that generosity, there's space of holding Zinkle in that. Yeah. You're saying you don't feel as much as it could be Ubizo Luako to be yeah, a holding for sure. space for the family, but there's a greater part that God and your ancestors make sure that um, there's a sense of integration. She's very needy. It has been... Such a difficult time for her. Uh, yeah, no, for uh, sure. I think it still is. And I'm sure, obviously, you know, there's different stages of grief. Lately, she's been crying a lot about never seeing her dad again. Mm. Yeah, mom, I'm, I'm never going to see him again. I think maybe in the beginning, she, she knew he was gone, but I think just realizing that she's never going to see him has been our biggest struggle lately. Mm. That's what she cries about. You know, I, I think of the time before we met, mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and our meeting was very interesting. Yeah. The dream mm -hmm. you had came to my office, and mm -hmm. you told me that you are intentional about your healing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But what, what has that healing been like for you? It's so soon, man. It's only been, it's, it's been seven months. Mm. And I think all of us are just going through different parts of it, you know? I think my biggest struggle right now is Lynn and Cairo. Sure. Yeah, that, that's my biggest part. Just how much they're struggling just breaks my heart. Mm. Yeah, so I think... I can imagine. At times, I think the... I, think I have to put my own um, mm. feelings aside most times just to, you know, to mm. help everyone figure it out, especially the two of them, because they are really not okay. Sure, and I wonder, with all of this, Where's space for Zinke? It was tough in the beginning for Anele and I because I'm very stubborn. And he's been very patient, you know, in just how I open up to him. I think I'm comfortable, and I think I had this conversation with you before. I pray that if my role is to take care of my family, then my ancestors just need to give me the power to do it. That's all I ask. Mm, and if they forever gift you with that. Um, yeah. I'm not, I'm not complaining at all. Like, I feel like mm. my healing is in just like, in, like in service, in just making sure that everyone's okay. Yeah, and that's a very powerful yeah. thing that you mentioned, that your healing comes through strongly in generosity. Uh, and, and in that generosity, there's space of holding Zinkle in that yeah. you're saying you don't feel as much as it could be Ubizo Luako to be yeah, a holding for sure. space for the family, but there's a greater part that God and your ancestors make sure that um, there's a sense of integration that through it all, um, that there's you who's mm, held and 100%, loved. Yeah. And I mean, it sounds that like there's a greater sense of community at the Kaya. Then that, that, that is mm, where my joy comes from, you know? Mm, that's mm. like, I don't, I don't think if I had it any other way, I'd be right. any better, you know? Mm. This is just how, I've always been, I'm responsible for, for a lot of people emotionally, um, in, in many ways, mm. you know, and I'm comfortable with that. What you have intentionally decided to do is gifting people that there's absolutely nothing wrong with vulnerability. No, for sure. Um, I think the easiest thing I can do in any situation really is to just live my honest life the most honest right. way yeah. possible, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? I think that is going to make my life easy. Everything is a trigger in therapy. You just see your therapist and you just want to cry. <laughs> yeah, and the thing is, I've had a lot of therapists before this, and with them, I'll just see them and want to cry. But with Anneli, it's just like, I always want to be strong so that I can communicate how I feel. I don't ever want to miss a moment because I was crying the whole time. So we speak a lot more than I ever did with any other therapist I've ever had. So with the three families together, uh, Ungana's family, the Forbes and the G, and, and how you're intentional about that, but I'm always interested in how with Mungani's voice mm -hmm. and presence and all of mm -hmm. this, that uh, how does he feel about this? I think Mungani is the the pillar of strength that I get to, like, that I have.